All right, guys. So I have found a flyer called the North Alabama Barbecue and Craft Beer Trail. So I thought, you know, it does my job a little bit easier. It tells me some places we can go where we can find craft beer and we can find barbecue. Uh, today will be the first of the series. We are going to be here at Big Bob Gibson's Barbecue in Decatur, Alabama. And Amy's telling me to come on because I think she's hungry. <laughs> There's lots of awards in here, Amy. That must be a good sign. Blue ribbons. It's a good sign. It's really good. I just never been inside. All right, Amy. So what do, what do you know about Big Bob Gibson? It is in not too far. Uh, Big Bob Gibson. He was outside, he would cook for the neighborhood. Yeah. And um, one of the neighbors was like, no, you don't need to work for the railroad anymore, and this is what you need to do. And that inspired him to open the, uh, the restaurant. Okay, all right. What What did Big Bob invent that makes this place so special? The white sauce. Alabama white sauce. It's basically mayonnaise. Vinegar. Mayonnaise, vinegar, and pepper and spices, and it is really good. Delicious. And this place is where it started. So kind of a, a fun one so the first of this series will be starting here and this is where Alabama white sauce was created so let's take a look at the menu yeah so on the back of the menu there it is there's a story 1925 story that created it all what says a lot to me about a place like this is not only did it become a staple they even took it further and as it grew looking over the menu it also became a place where they did championship barbecue as well. So it's one thing to be a staple, but it's another thing to, I guess, elevate or evolve your craft. Strive to be the better. And strive to be the best. And Big Bob has, Big Bob's team has won awards using this stuff and show their red sauce. This. But Big Bob's uh, grandkids. Grandkids did this, the red sauce. They used to only have this, but then they eventually made a red sauce, which has won many awards, specifically Memphis in May, which is a very, very, very famous barbecue competition here in the South. You guys don't know how excited I really am for this. I've been looking forward to this all weekend. We ordered the barbecue feast, which is uh, four meats, two sides, rolls, and we got ribs, pulled pork, brisket, and chicken, which chicken I know they're famous for. The pulled pork I know is world famous, and the ribs are award winning too, so I'm super excited. Alrighty. Baked beans and potato salad. But here's the main event. Brisket. Chicken, which is dunked in the white sauce. Pulled pork, not chopped, pulled pork. And some Memphis style ribs. Actually those those are those are, those are not Memphis style ribs, those are St. Louis style. Because they have sauce. Look at the smoke ring on that brisket. I'm excited. Take a bite of that pork, see how it is. It's good. It smells good. So I, I kind of divvied mine up a little bit. Put some in some sauce, some not in some sauce, and then that has their vinegar based sauce. Let's do this. Start with the vinegar based sauce. Pork's excellent. Pork's really good. The sauce is pretty decent. Let's try it with the actual red sauce. That's really good. Good barbecue. Naked. Oh yeah. That's good pulled pork. Smoky. Smoky. Really good. Just try the brisket too. Brisket is pretty daggum good. Um, really got some good flavor in the, the bark of it. Let's try rib. 
It's a really good rip. Pretty damn good. All right. For all you Southern curious folks out there that have never had white sauce before, <laughs> Southern curious. It's a thing. You can be Southern curious. Oh. Um, it's basically mayonnaise and vinegar with a peppery mix of spices and it is excellent on chicken which one of the cool things they do here is after they smoke their chickens they actually dunk it in a vat of this stuff but if you like it you really like it mm. it's tangy it's kind of sweet and savory at the same time just really good stuff. <laughs> Amy, I ate too much. Mm-hmm. You stopped eating. I did. I had to. I just it was good. I just I just kept going at it. Now my belly hurts. Too much. Too much barbecue. But go put some beer in it. You'll be we're, we're gonna go put some beer in it. So the Alabama Craft Beer Trail. Uh, we are going to head over to it is called my house. your house. No, we're not going to your house. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to the Crossed Eyed Owl, Cross Eyed Owl um, Brewery in Decatur. Uh, the brewery is downtown, yeah. so we'll see you when we get there. We forgot to talk about the barbecue. What was your favorite? My favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Grayson liked the hot dog. She told me she liked the chicken. Oh, she did? She liked the chicken better than the hot dog. Did you like the chicken? The chicken was good to me, but it's like typical white meat, breast meat. Like, it yeah. gets kind of easily dry. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like, if you don't have that white sauce, like, it has an awesome flavor. I, but I, if you don't have that white sauce, it could be dry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I did like how the <laughs> it had the flavor of the sauce where they dunked it. I did like yeah. that. The skin was good. Yeah, the skin you was really skin good. skin on your chicken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, thank you. Um, I have, think... Have kids, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. Yeah. Um, I personally am a fan of pulled pork. Okay. I'm a big fan of pulled pork. Their red sauce is really good. Everybody's all like, oh, white sauce, white sauce, white sauce. But yeah, their the, red, the red sauce, sauce is, is really, really good. good. It's not too sweet. It's not too tomatoey. It's not really thick. It's yeah. not really thin. Yeah. It just kind of, it kind of, it does a good job at what it is. I think to me, I honestly the ribs were good. The ribs were really good. They had a they had a really good bark to them, really good smoke, mm -hmm. and just enough sauce. They weren't covered in them. Ribs were pretty daggum good. And the They're brisket, really I like the brisket. I'm not a big brisket fan. The uh, I this did get a having issues. Yeah, she gonna hit us. I hope not. But the the piece of brisket that was still a little bit. Um, Lord help us. Hold on. The pieces that were moist were really really excellent, and I liked. A lot that they had going on there with the uh, the spices and everything, and the smoke ring on it was excellent. Uh, Sorry, I was distracted by the stupidity of young drivers. Did you hear it? Yeah. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go to the brewery now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we really shouldn't let kids drive before they're eighteen. Lord, no. Maybe. No. <sighs> you kid, kids these days. We made it. Made it to Cross Eyed Owl Brewing Company. X E O. Cross Eyed Owl. I'll hook the owl up on top. Let's go try some beer. Alright, we are at the Cross Eyed Owl. Established in 2018. It's a really cool little place. I like it. I really, really like how the brewery is actually open and you can see right into it. It's super cool. I also really, really like the emblem. That's so awesome. This is the 
pint of their cream ale. That's daddy. Daddy. This is <laughs> I really dig their emblem. That's a cool emblem. And a fun fact here, they actually do craft sodas as well. This is soda, it's not alcoholic. Yeah, so this is non-alcoholic. It's a strawberry rhubarb soda. Is it good? Mm. It's good? That's good. So we got a, a flock going around the one to six here. It's pretty good beer. Flock all the way around. That cream milk is delicious. It's very good. Oh. Um, or IPA. I said it wrong. Kotako. I said Kotaka, but it's Kotako. IPA. Really, really good. Strawberry rhubarb soda. That is pretty good. I don't know if I can drink the whole thing. It's really sweet. Alright guys, so we were sitting here and I was having a quiet moment. Kid, we got the kids settled down a little bit watching some Daniel Tiger on the uh, old device. And I was sitting here and I had my, had my hand kind of right here in my thinking face. And he goes, are you smelling the barbecue on your hands? <laughs> Call me. I was. I was smelling the barbecue on my hands because it still smells like good barbecue. Not just barbecue sauce, but like, you know, smoked meat. Even though I've washed them like twice and used a pure oil wipe on them since then, so. Cheers. Amy, how'd you like the Cross Eyed Owl Brewery? It was fun. The um, bartender, she was really nice. She was really nice. Really she was. nice to Grayson. Yep. Yep, she gave her stickers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she still has them. I think she's playing on my phone now. It's in the floor. Oh. Anyway. But. The, uh, the beer there was really good. Um, wasn't anything that was overtly... Their soda is really sweet. Yeah, their soda is very sweet. So if you go and you get their soda, it is going to be very sweet. But the, you know, I did the, the flight and I had about six different ones and none of them were bad. They were all decent, decent beers. Some of them were actually really good. Their, uh, their, um, which one, the rye was really good. The uh, rye porter was really good. The the Cotico, um to IPA. Head south on I gotta go get a shirt for pictures tomorrow. Right Going to Belk. Um, the Cotico IPA was a really really good one. And I asked her, I was like, well, what 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 would you say the flagships are here? Um, and she goes, she goes, uh, probably the cream ale is probably our number one seller, and I can see why. It's a very solid, very very solid beer. It's it's um, it's very easy drinking, uh, especially if you don't like uh, IPAs or ambers or porters or anything like that. It's just a really good ale. Um, other than that, the, the the space is really cool. I like how it's open. The uh, the bar's really accessible. I really liked how the the, uh, the brewery is open with the tap room. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I did like that they had a couple games there in the back. They had a whole shelf of, of games that you could play. There was a group there that was, you know, like, like high school buddies having like a get together on a Saturday. So we didn't we didn't really get into the little game section, but they had board games, card games, they had a pinball machine, a foosball table, darts. Cross-Eyed Owl Brewery, if you're in Decatur, uh, go check it out. Um, going to Big Bob's, Big Bob's does not out offer any alcoholic beverages, so if you're looking for a beer, you're specifically looking for a craft beer, go check it out. And you know, in that little area of Decatur, that's a little part of the downtown area, there's a, a couple restaurants there, including a Mellow Mushroom, the City Cafe, and a couple other things. And Mellow Mushrooms probably has Cross Eyed Owl on their tap, if I'd have to guess. But it's there, so this road is really bumpy. Anyway, 
so we're headed back home i hope you guys had fun this will be the first of the what were we going to call it pork pork and pots pork, pork and pots if you have a better name for it let me know because i'm not really sold on pork and pots uh but that's what we'll go with pork and pots pork and pots episode one is in the books so if you liked it let me know um if you've been to big bobs or if you've been to the cross-eyed owl brewery let me know let me know your thoughts um there's a couple stops on both of these trails so we're trying to kind of do them together and you know a few of them are places we've been before and that's okay because you know i like some of the places we've been and i like some of the restaurants and i like the brewery so until next time we will see you guys we'll catch you on the next adventure <laughs>